<laughs> yeah, girl, just that little bit. Girl, let me get me started. Okay. Are we recording? Oh, honey, y'all ain't gonna believe this. I was just scrolling through my social media and saw this anti-LGBTQ legal mumbo jumbo from North Dakota. So we decided to call some fierce queens that you all know to help us sort things out and really try to understand one North Dakota bill. Enter the queen. Number one. North Dakota lawmakers are trying to ban hosting or sponsoring Drag Queen Storytime for children or similar programming. Which is weird because we love to read, like I'm about to read Monet for not getting in drag. <laughs> the definition of this nonsense bill. These lawmakers define Drag Queen Storytime as an event that targets children and promotes licentiousness. Promotes licentious? Ness. <laughs> Licentiousness. Licentiousness. Okay, I know licentiousness. I love working with her, but honestly, we have been trouble at a couple shits. You know when you in school and you just start adding words to stuff to just make it make sense? You you just uh yeah, um yesterday I went to the licentious mall with my Friends for a reasonable observer. Girl, they are just adding stuff. This is ridiculous. In attempts to justify practices inconsistent with the peace or safety of the state. So now Drag Queen Story Hour is threatening the peace and safety of the state. Darling, the only time a Drag Queen Story Hour gets violent, it never gets violent. What are you talking about? Now Drag Brunch. Ban two. North Dakota lawmakers are trying to ban marriages other than man-woman marriages. Everyone has the right to be miserable. According to North Dakota lawmakers, gay marriage is any form of so-called marriage, which does not involve a man and a woman, and includes so-called marriages between more than two people, persons of the same sex, a person and an animal, or a person and an object. I don't, I don't know about you, but I have not tried to marry a pencil um, at, 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 at any time in my life. Now, I don't know if somebody else has, but I have not personally tried it in my life, and I don't think many have. Not to be confused with the right kind of marriage, man-woman marriage, which these lawmakers define as a legal union that represents an intended lifelong commitment between one person who was born a biological male and one person who was born a biological female. Girl, Dungeons and Dragons has less rules. Ban three. North Dakota lawmakers are trying to ban queerness. Good luck! <laughs> Girl, what in the Leviticus? These lawmakers define queerness as expressions and speech that are controversial, sexualized, questionably moral. Oh, now y'all want to ban some controversial speech. Where were you the past four years? Where were you on January 6th? Let's, let's go back to that. Uh, and have the tendency to erode community standards of decency and promote licentious, licentiousness. I argue to say queer folk, because we have because we have been ostracized from our own communities and families a lot, we have stronger bonds and stronger family and stronger community than half of these, oh, I almost said a bad word, than half of these mother-tucking lawmakers will ever have. Well, let's just start there. Queer people, we are so committed to loving and building our own communities and family that we don't try to erode. We try to build, create, and love. Amen? Ban four. North Dakota lawmakers are trying to ban exposing students to a curriculum concerning non-secular self-asserted sex, based identity, ideology, or sexual orientation, orthodox. That's a lot of words, but this sounds shady. They pretty much have already successfully banned sex education, I think, in this country anyway. But they want to go back and double ban any type of sex education that teaches about sex education. Why do these North Dakota lawmakers hate us so much? Honey, look at me. I hate me too. Well, in their own words, if we allow people to be queer, they might believe that man is merely a bundle of chemicals 
animated pieces of meat, or accidental particles. And that nature is all there is. Here is the call to action. Here's what we are asking all of you today. Number one, share this video. Share this video to raise awareness. It all makes sense, it all works, and it's all important. If you do live in North Dakota, contact your state representative and your senator and tell them to vote no on HB 1476 and HB 1298. If you are outside North Dakota, like myself, check to see what bills are pending in your state and tell your reps to vote no on all anti-LGBTQ bills. Please decide with the side of kindness and not hate because that's what's gonna lead us into the new tomorrow and things, girl. Gather your friends and pay attention to what is happening as governments across the country try to stop us from being who we are. Things are getting weird and extreme, and we need to tune in and defend our rights. So let's get started. How are they going to get rid of people being queer? Good luck. I'm not going anywhere.